Hello and welcome to Castle Blatna. We find ourselves an hour south of Prague in one of only three water castles in the Czech Republic. My name is Stefanos Germanis Hilbrand and I'm very pleased to be taking you around this beautiful place today. First mention of uh, the structure um, dates back to the 13th century, whereas the tower that you see behind me was built in the 14th century. Additional palaces were added to the structure in subsequent centuries. More about that in a bit. We are in the Baroque Salon, where we can see a portrait of my grandmother, Cornelia, who uh, grew up in the US and in Switzerland. She was the daughter of a senior diplomat, um, while her herself um, spent um, a large part of her life working for the United Nations in Africa. Following the confiscation of the property by the communist regime in the late 1940s, the family eventually emigrated to Africa, and specifically to Ethiopia, where they, they settled and lived for the next 20 years. Ethiopia's Emperor Haile Selassie was a friend of the family and facilitated the resettling there. While in Ethiopia, my grandmother Cornelia worked as a translator at the United Nations in Addis Ababa, while my grandfather Friedrich, who when young studied at the Spanish Riding School in Vienna, was given an advisory role by the Emperor related to horse breeding. We are in the hunting lounge, which is inspired by my great-grandfather, Ferdinand Hilprand, who was involved in politics as well as was a, a renowned hunter. Um, he was also a close friend of Franz Ferdinand d'Este, the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne. Ferdinand had four sons. One was in the military, the next was a painter, then came a sculptor, and the youngest, my grandfather, was given charge of the estate. We are now in the Empire Salon, famous for the Empire style furniture it contains. The furniture was a gift to my ancestor, a member of the royal court in Vienna, for having accompanied Marie Louise from there to Paris for her to marry Napoleon. We are on the 16th century loggia of the Raid Palace, which is my favorite place to be um, at the castle, mostly because of its views, um, but also because of the stories it hides. A lesser known claim to fame of the loggia is that of Ferdinand Hilbrandt, my great-grandfather, and the Archduke Franz Ferdinand d'Este, heir to the Austrian throne, um, shooting fallow deer from here together during the latter's hunting visits to Blatna. On the last such occasion, and shortly before traveling to Sarajevo, the Archduke allegedly shot an albino deer, an omen of bad luck in hunting law, and the rest is history. We are now in the courtyard of the castle, where you can see all four palaces um, that constitute its full structure, plus our cafe. The castle complex consists of four palaces, each built at different times and each originally in a different architectural style. The first two palaces were built in the 14th and 15th centuries in Gothic style, followed by another in Renaissance and the fourth in Baroque. So we are in the English Park, which was turned into an English Park in the 19th century. Um, it's around 42 hectares large, 
and is inhabited by a number of animals, including our fallow deer, Zeno, and Zeno here, who likes playing with them from time to time. Zeno, yes, yes, friends, sit. Good boy. Notable occupants and visitors to the castle range from the Templars to numerous members of European royalty and nobility to even General George Patton at the end of the Second World War. We're at our Easter market, which is the first big event of the season. We're planning many more markets uh, this summer, including a Prosecco festival. We're planning um, a Lego exhibition, also night shows, a spectacular concert with fireworks in the park, as well as an event with spectacular cars also in the park. So come join the fun.